It is an honor and a privilege for me to address this distinguished joint inaugural of the 31st meeting of the Ministers of Health and the 66th session of the WHO Regional Committee for Southeast Asia. Last year, it was our pleasure to host the 30th meeting of Ministers of Health and 65th session of the WHO Regional Committee in Yogyakarta, Indonesia. Discussion culminated with adoption of the Yogyakarta Declaration, emphasizing issues of aging and health as a priority public health challenge in the Southeast Asia region. At the outset, I would like to thank Honorable President of India for sparing his valuable time to be with us today to grace this joint inaugural session of 31st Health Minister's Meet and 66th Regional Session, Regional Committee Session of WHO South East Asia region. Honorable President Sir, we are truly honored by your august presence on this important occasion. Honorable Ministers, it's a privilege for India to host all of you for these meetings in the capital city of Delhi, which carries a rich culture, history, and heritage. And I thank you that you have made it possible to attend these meetings. We are equally glad to have Director General WHO, Dr. Margaret Chan, who has provided global leadership of complex health scenario in the most difficult times of the prolonged global economic slowdown and has been very ably carrying forward all activities despite limited resources at her disposal. It gives me immense pleasure to extend a very warm welcome to all of you to the inaugural session of the 31st meeting of the Ministers of Health and 66th session of the World Health Organization Regional Committee of Southeast Asia. I hope that your stay in this historic city of Delhi would be comfortable and will provide you the necessary gill, energy and enthusiasm for successful deliberations during the meetings. I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate Dr. Margaret Chang, Director General, World Health Organization, for her untiring efforts of pursuing health for all policies to make it a global agenda and for her commitment to the cause of public health in the international community of nations. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I feel honored that we are hosting the 31st Health Ministers meeting where health ministers from 11 countries in the region, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Democratic People's Republic of Korea, India, Indonesia, Maldives, Myanmar, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Thailand, and Timor Leste would be discussing the key health issues and challenges facing the region. 